Hello my friends, welcome back to another what I eat in a day video. I'm gonna take you through my whole day. I'm gonna show you everything I eat in a day on a whole foods vegan diet. Now starting off with my first meal of the day, my breakfast, I had this delicious green banana ice cream. So it was about three large handfuls of spinach along with two cups of frozen mango chunks and four and a half frozen bananas chopped up. I added all of that into my Vitamix blender along with one tablespoon of chia seeds and then I blended that up until it was creamy and smooth. I absolutely love adding frozen fruits or frozen berries on top of my nice cream bowls. And so on this particular day, I really enjoyed these beautiful frozen strawberries. They were at their peak ripeness when they were frozen, so they were super, super red and sweet. Then I also sprinkled over some buckwheat groats. I absolutely adore having banana ice cream for breakfast. It is very filling and sweet and creamy and delicious and very satisfying. And it puts me up for a really good start to my day. When lunchtime rolls around, I'm very ready for something crispy and sweet and more light than my breakfast meal. So on this particular day, I had two of these delicious organic gala apples along with a bunch of clementines. I love chopping up my fruits and adding them to the bowl and making them look a little pretty because not only is it easier for me to eat and I don't like making a mess so it makes it a little bit easier that I make the mess first, then clean it up, then put it in my bowl, then eat it. But I do really prefer making it look all pretty into the bowl or the plate because that's part of the enjoyment of eating in my opinion. I think making things look really pretty or aesthetic is really nice and pleasing to the eyes and then to your belly. This lunch meal is packed with fiber and water and nutrients and it was very filling and sweet and juicy and it was perfect. Now that it's winter time in Ontario, Canada, we're having quite a limitation on fruits here. Typically in season, you'd get apples, dates, um, bananas are year round, and then a lot of different citrus fruits. So that is what I've been focusing on, a lot of apples, dates, and citrus fruits. And I'm, I'm pretty okay with it. I really love those fruits anyway. Um, so that's what I've been having a lot lately. Now starting off to make my dinner, my last meal of the day, I added these Hawaiian purple sweet potatoes into my oven at 400 degrees Fahrenheit and I bake them for about 90 minutes. That's an hour and a half until they're fully cooked. And then into my salad bowl goes my kale. I rip off the leaves from the stems and then all I do is rip them up into smaller sized chunks, give it a really good massage to break down the fibers a little bit better so it's easier to chew and digest and absorb the nutrients. If you're someone who is new to eating leafy greens, especially dark leafy greens, I would not recommend kale as a starter because it's one of the more bitter type vegetables. And so you could probably steam it, would lessen the intensity of that, but it's still pretty bitter. So I like to mix, as you see here, with different types of leafy greens. So on this particular day, I also had some red leaf lettuce. That also sometimes lessens the intensity of the bitterness, but of course, a really amazing salad dressing. So on top, I added some broccoli sprouts along with some sad looking celery that needed to be eaten. It was the last bit, so it was really wilted. I pr prefer that. I really do love when I have wilted veggies. Then I topped it off with some purple cabbage, some little baby tomatoes, and about a cup's worth of brown cooked lentils. Then on my baking tray, I have a parchment paper, and I'm going to bake all my vegetables on this Day, I was getting into steaming them quite a lot and now I'm going through a phase of baking my vegetables. Alright, so for my baked vegetables, I have one large carrot which I chopped into smaller sized chunks along with this small bowl here of Brussels sprouts. I just chopped them in halves so that they would bake easier and I also have a small wooden tray there with some mushrooms on. I wanted to show you that those mushrooms will be added to the tray later on because they cook really quickly. Lastly, I added on some frozen green beans. 
Then I pop this tray into my oven along with the sweet potatoes, same temperature, 400 degrees Fahrenheit, and I bake that for about 20 to 30 minutes. And the last 10 minutes of baking the vegetables, I then finally add in the mushrooms. And because they bake pretty quickly, they cook very quickly, so I added them last. At this point of adding in my vegetables, I also like to take the opportunity to check my beautiful purple Hawaiian sweet potatoes. I usually like to cut them in halves or at least slice them down the middle to help them bake some more. At this point, they're almost done, but not quite. In this blender here is my salad dressing ingredients. I will blend all of this up until it's smooth. So in here I have one and a half cups of steamed cauliflower, one tablespoon sunflower seeds, two teaspoons of dried dill, and the juice of two lemons. And I do add a splash of water just to fix the consistency if I need to. Once the vegetables were all baked to perfection, I then also added them into my salad bowl. If you are new to my channel or you haven't heard me say it yet, I absolutely adore and I do highly recommend adding cooked vegetables in with your raw vegetables because they add such a diverse, amazing texture and flavor combinations. It's so amazing. You have the warm, mushy vegetables along with the raw, crispy vegetables, and it's just such an amazing diversity for your gut health. Once I added all of my salad ingredients together, I gave it a really good mush together. And when I finally blended up my salad dressing ingredients, I have that here ready to go. So I then also dump that on top of the salad too. This dressing is amazing. It's really tangy and creamy, and very savory, and you can actually add whatever other spices or herbs you like to this dressing. I usually like to keep mine pretty simple, but it's amazing. The very last thing I add to my salad is either my nut or my seed, and on this particular day, I had chopped almonds. There is the final plating with my baked Hawaiian purple sweet potatoes, so that's my full dinner there. I usually eat most of the salad first, maybe three-fourths of it, and then I enjoy the potatoes with the remaining bit of my salad. If you guys like these videos, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you're new here. Hit the bell for notifications, and I will see you next time.